Hey, greetings. This is Brother Jim, don'tperish.com, John 4, 24 Radio. Hey, just finishing up my work day today. <clears throat> Want to make a video. Oh, i got to get my truck key. Want to make a video and talk to you about a really important topic. Here's the topic. You ready? Hold on. Let me grab my truck key. Really important topic. Here we go. Stop going to Sunday church. Yeah, you know, I got to make this video. At don'tperish.com, we are all about the biblical gospel and the true New Testament body life. And we are always warning people and telling people about man-made religion. And I am so tired and so in pain over all of the stories that we keep hearing continually from people calling us and emailing us. They keep going to Sunday church, man-made religion, Baptist, Lutheran, non-denominational, whatever. And it is not the Father's will and not the Father's word. Going to a place on Sunday, ritual religion where it's run by the clock, a modern pastor in a pulpit with worldly carnal people that are mostly false converts... They keep pagan holidays, Christmas and Easter. They don't teach the biblical gospel. They don't teach you holiness and obedience coming out of the world. All they give you is some false fellowship. They take your money, most often the tithe. People, why are you continuing to go? Most people tell me, yeah, I know this isn't biblical. And I know this and I know that. I gotta drive around my logs here. Why do people continue to go? It amazes me. It's confounding. And I don't understand. If you say you love God, and if you say you love Christ, the Bible says to worship in spirit and truth. Jesus in Matthew 7 says, Come out of all false ways, man-made traditions, or your worship of God is in vain. You are doing your family great harm. You're doing your spiritual walk great harm. You are sinning against God. It's spiritual adultery. I don't understand why men and women that say, yeah, I know this isn't right, and they keep going. They're guilted by, oh, Hebrews 10, 25, don't forsake the gathering of yourselves together. That's not about Sunday church. That's about gathering unto Christ. Go to our website, don'tperish.com. Look up the Spirit and Truth teaching blog. We have articles on Hebrews 10.25. Of course you gather to Christ. Of course you gather to other true believers. Hey, there's the problem. You're not with true believers in Sunday man-made religion. Who are you with? You're with worldly goats, false converts, hireling pastors that want your money. Is that really where God wants us to go and have fellowship and gather with other people unto him? No, that's not what the Father wants for his true people. And if you keep doing it, you're in sin. So my word to you, stop going to Sunday church. We left it a decade ago, and we grew in the Lord. And we got away from false people. And we began to obey in holiness. And it helped, helped us in our walks. I don't care if your family will be mad. I don't care if your spouse will be mad. I don't care if you're co-workers and your neighbors will be mad who do you serve acts 5 29 man or god stop going to sunday church be the body of christ at home right where you are study in the word we're here to help you go to don'tperish.com hey what it says repent be born again obey god's word not man-made false traditions we help you in the true biblical faith let us know how we can help you Till then, stop going to Sunday church. You're in sin if you keep doing it. And I can prove it if you want me to. Just shoot me an email. I'll take you to the scriptures. Call you out of that place for your own good. We love you, so we speak the truth. Hey, till next time, have a glorious day. May God be praised.